Royal Navy warship intercepts narco sub for first time. A Royal Navy warship has intercepted a so-called narco sub, seizing cocaine with a street value of $210 million. HMS Trent discovered the vessel 190 nautical miles south of the Dominican Republic while working alongside the U.S. Coast Guard and a U.S. Maritime Patrol aircraft. The Navy said 2,000 kilograms of cocaine was seized on August 26 as it was being trafficked across the Caribbean Sea, bringing HMS Trent's Hall of Narcotics during eight drugs busts and seven months of operations to nearly $986 million. It is the first time a Royal Navy warship has intercepted a narco submarine. Two people were detained and 12 bales of cocaine seized after a high-speed nighttime pursuit. The semi-submersible vessels are used by drug smugglers and sit low in the water to evade detection. Some are even fully submersible. A Royal Navy spokesman said the drugs bust, which involved Royal Marines from 47 Commando and Specialist Sailors, came just 72 hours after Trent's last successful haul in which 462 kilograms of cocaine worth $49 million was seized. Portsmouth-based HMS Trent has now seized 9,459 kilograms of drugs during its operations, beating HMS Argyle as the best hunter of smugglers in the Royal Navy this century. The ship's commanding officer Commander Tim Langford said this latest seizure reinforces the utility of the Royal Navy's offshore patrol vessels, adding the semi-submersible was rarely seen in the Caribbean. A spokesman for the Royal Navy said, these successful interceptions disrupt transnational criminal organizations, TCO, and underscore the Royal Navy's vital role in maintaining maritime security and upholding international law both at home and abroad. This role is more important than ever with the flow of drugs to Europe and the UK, where an estimated 117 tons is consumed per year, grows significantly. HMS Trent, which has 50 specialists in disaster relief operations on board, will now continue patrols in the Caribbean to support British overseas territories during hurricane season. The ship recently also visited the British Virgin Islands, making repairs on the island of Tortola, after Tropical Storm Ernesto passed through the region.